days, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way, I couldn't find a job. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Black dot found the pot as a youngin' broke it down for a son and now he serve it to the masses. Black mass, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way, I couldn't find a job. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Black mass, man, it's time to rock. I had to find a way, I couldn't find a job. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Couldn't find a prayer, couldn't find a God. Urban excellence, a product of my residence From four score to 44, Obama was the president I told mama I ain't tryna go to church I'm like Adam, every Adam is a product of the dirt And I've been reaping what he sold I got the product, got the dirt And I can teach you what I know But then you got him put in work You in trouble if you waiting on the government I told my bro I make it out the hood And that's a covenant Peace. Welcome back to another episode of the Urban X Podcast. Thank you guys for joining us. I'm Malcolm. This is the Black Dad. We appreciate your support. Yes. Yes. Yep. Thank you guys for joining us here on the Thursday, our Friday. Our Friday. Your Thursday, our Friday. Your Thursday, our Friday. But yeah, we are here. Let's do a quick roll call. I see Germany in the building. Germany in the building. Germany. Okay. Naptown. Naptown. I saw... Tampa. New Haven in the building, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. Cincinnati is definitely in the building. Atlanta is here. Memphis. Memphis. Shout out, shout out. Thank you guys for joining us. Youngstown, Ohio. It's Youngstown, Ohio, Miami, Florida. Listen, I'm New out. Orleans. I'm out to Florida, B. I am out. Going to Florida? I'm going to Florida. Oh, shout out Steve in, in, in New Orleans. That's what we're talking about. I'm out to Florida, man. Cass, appreciate the support early. I like the way y'all are living. Nah, I like the, I like the governor. Yeah, the governor. I like I like him a lot. Nah, the governor, you know, he on it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Dayton, Ohio, LA. Oh, you probably coming home from work right now. Louisiana in the building. How was your week? Hong Kong. I was fasting this week. Mm. And it took a turn for the worse. <laughs> and as a result, I've been a shit box. <laughs> Y'all gotta forgive me. I have no nutrients in my body whatsoever. I'm telling you now. I've been on this lemon juice, you know, early in the morning. First thing hit your belly, this, that. And the shit triggered, and I've been a shit box. A uh, quantum shit box. I think my guts fell out into the toilet the other night. And so I'm a little under the weather just trying to replenish. So bear with me, you know? Oh, yeah, man. yeah. I had a good week. You That's know. how my week went. I had a very uneventful week. Wish this shit would stop. If, if 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 we come back from commercial and I'm not here, I'm on the toilet. Yeah, well, I'm here. I'm here. We're chilling. We are chilling. Um, uh, what did it? What, what I didn't really I even get... shot it. Oh god, you too. Yeah, you you getting old. So I was like, is that a is that a? Oh ah, shit. How they bring me some clothes? <laughs> I I done fucked up. <laughs> I done fucked up. I just don't want. Just don't want to smell like Pete and Noble and Doodle oh, and man. shit. And, oh man. Yeah. Yeah. So. Thank you guys for joining us. Yeah. Oh, thank you guys for all the support you guys showed during the Black History Month sale. Yes, yes. We really, really thank that support. Really thank you guys. You guys showed up in numbers. As you always do. Mm -hmm. As you always do. This is our... Third year? Third year. Doing yeah, third it? official. Maybe fourth. I think it's the fourth year doing it. Could be fourth. Yeah, it's yeah. our fourth year doing it. So we did. We started in 2019. In 2020, you know, how that went. Yeah. 2021 was nuts. And then this yeah, year, so. Yeah, yeah, Our fourth year. We, we have a little tradition here, and I'm really proud of that. Um, and this would not be possible without you guys, of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. Of course. Just give yourselves a round of applause. Another, another round of applause. Another round of applause. You know? What's the cash app? Uh, it's uh, Black Dot. 
The black dot with the money symbol in front. Is that the money symbol? Yes. Money symbol, the black dot. Yeah, send me some shit for Pepto Bismol <laughs> or some shit on. And Modi and my yeah. idea some shit. Uh, let's get into it. Yeah. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So I watched uh, the final part of Genius last night. I was going to watch it. I kind of got busy. Yeah. Because I like to be able to add my two cents, but you're going to have to carry us on this one. So I, I watched it really good because uh, it, it kind of went right into late registration mm -hmm. and, you know, the success from late registration. And then uh, this one focused a lot on his mom, I, obviously, especially from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Showed, like, the really close relationship to his mom and the, the person, uh, the guy, Cootie, who was making the, who, who was making the documentary, who was filming everything, he said that... He noticed that the the bigger Kanye got, the closer he wanted to be with his mom. Mm. Right, like he just kind of like that was kind of like his like safe haven. Like, yes, he was there in more pictures together. They were doing more events and stuff together. And when she, you know, unfortunately passed, he, you can clearly see the the effect that that had on him. Absolutely, I mean, he tried to bury himself in, into work, and we we know that's really not the way to do. It's things. not the way to do it, but you you. Look, everybody, the way they heal is different. Mm -hmm. Now, remember, my son Eli was born one Friday. Mm -hmm. My mom's passed the next Friday. So I really couldn't grieve her the way I wanted to. And Eli was born prematurely. Mm -hmm. So I had to get right back to him. And when I look at those pictures from that time, I can clearly see uh, the depression in my face mm -hmm. and how much I was holding in. So for him... Uh, the losers' moms, and it was really just him and his moms. Yeah, uh, you know that's that's a tough situation. So then, um, and you know it's crazy too because the the, uh, the guy Cody he had his daughter around the same time, and his daughter was a preemie. Wow, you know what okay. I'm saying? So okay. it was like it was, it was it was it was a lot going on. But then after a while, uh, him and Kanye, you know, kind of drifted apart, and that had, I, I I kind of saw that would happen, especially. When somebody of that magnitude, yes. just, he really just blows and up. And I can't like take that. you. Well, I can take you, you can, everywhere. But then again, he's by himself now at this point, right? Because uh, the the guy cool, he even made it mention. He goes, "Yo, when I stopped really being around Kanye, his mom used to reach out to me most of the time to film events, film her events, film her events. She had a foundation with Kanye and stuff like that. So he would be behind the scenes doing like, filming their family events. Mm -hmm. So." Um, he said that, like, you know, once she passed, whatever, like, now it's his team telling me, you can't, we don't got no space for you. Right, right, right. Probably not even directly from Kanye. Right. Those are the new handlers. Mm -hmm. Remember, I spoke about that. Uh, his mother was his natural handler. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The one who you can confide in, uh, you know, trust. The one you know is not after your money. Right. And all of that kind of stuff. And then, once mom is out the picture, for whatever reason... Now, the swarm comes in of those who are looking to take full advantage of a bright light mm -hmm. at that time. This is before the, the craziness. Yeah. Bright light, the moths come out. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, he said that after a while, it, it was like six years between him filming Kanye and him like uh, re reconnecting with him. So he was like basically... You know, the Taylor Swift stuff, like all of that stuff, like he was like, I was watching that with everybody else. Got you. You know what I mean? You. It was the point, like, I didn't even feel like I really knew him. And um, it was his late registration Grammys party. So he went with his camera. Remember, he was the Channel Zero dude. So he right. said, like, let's bring it, let's bring it back. Right. And he said, that's the first time I felt like an outsider. Got you. Got you. You know what I mean? I didn't feel like I was a part of the mix. Yeah. And I always, I think about that all the time because, you, you know, if people you came up with, and then one person makes it big and stuff like that. Like the the person who does make it big, I'm not sure they they're cognizant of what's happening of, about the people they're leaving behind. Yes. Like I'm sure like the negative relationships and stuff like that, the ones that don't really serve you, cool, you find with leaving those behind. Maybe right. you know you, you have friendships that you're sad about, but the ones that you care about this dude, but it's still like in the back of your mind that yeah. you're not really paying attention to him. You you kind of because just on your, your mind own. is focused on so many other things. It's the small things. Yeah. And when you can build a team around you of people that you trust your A1 from day ones yeah. uh, and keep them around you, uh, you're going to go further in life. We saw Jay-Z part from his team 
and finally build his team mm-hmm. back up. He's back with Jazzo. He's back with his you know original team, and that will help him in the long run. We saw uh, LeBron James keep his team. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With him, no yeah. matter what, no matter what, I got to keep my team with me uh, because I know that they have my best interest at, at hand. Um, so for certain situations, because it could be something as subtle as, yo, you, you, you just disrespected me in front of your man. Yeah. He ain't a part of our team. Yeah. That was fire how you just did that. Yeah, it was a moment, and if you, when you guys watch it, it was a moment in there where it was really hard to watch. Between them, mm-hmm. and you got to just kind of got to watch it to to understand. But it was just like, oh man, you know. Yeah, well, fame and fortune, yeah, uh, will do a lot of things, man. And it was crazy because, like, just the the way the the documentary was kind of like formatted, right? He would say, like, you know, him and Kanye kind of reconnected. He was taking him to China, taking, and then he would go home, and then Kanye would just do something wild. Then he would come back, and then they would, you know, have another moment, and then, like, he would go on another Twitter rant. Then mm-hmm. it was always something crazy. So, like, I say all of that, right? Then, like, that part, you know, aired yesterday, which is, I think that was the, the final part of the, the, of the series. So that aired yesterday. And then today it comes out that, you know, Kanye puts out a video of, it's like an animated video of him uh, chopping off the head of Pete Davidson and burying him. Uh. And it's just like... Dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, how much... You could love somebody a lot to the point where you're just like, yo, bro, like, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah. And it, it all falls down. It all falls apart um, at, at, at some point because now you're teetering on the lines of you don't even know yourself what's reality and what's not. Yeah. And then I heard earlier this week he wants the judge to not uh, make admissive his Twitter post. Oh really? But yet you holding up a sign that says my post, my Twitter has not been hacked. Yeah. So how, which one is it? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, you know that's pretty much what the situation is, and it's becoming tough to watch because it's not that much fame and fortune in the world, mm-hmm. in my humble opinion. All in the mix of that, he's trying to still be creative mm-hmm. and, and and do his creative stuff, but the morphs done got him now, bro. Yeah. yeah, they yeah, got him now. He, they, he, um, the, the guy Cody, he got a really good conversation that Kanye was having with these two white executives, and Kanye really should have started like going in, and then the guy Cody, he said, "Yo, I started." He said, "I never saw him like this, so I cut the camera off." Mm. Right. So, and it wasn't like he was like you know he he wasn't cooning into them, but he was just kind of just talking everything that was on his mind. He was just saying it, mm. right? Just saying it, and to the point where like the the, the white guys are like awkwardly laughing. He was just talking. And we we talk about you know mental issues and mental health and stuff like that, but to to see something right, to see something for what it is, to see the entertainment industry for what it is, Hollywood, whatever you want to call it, fashion for what it is, and to not do anything about it, and to still have so much influence, and to, for everybody to depend on you to for your energy, for your creative energy, for money and stuff like that. That would drive somebody mad. Life of Pablo said it all. Yes, that would drive him broke, mad. Hiring family, trying to put everybody on. Um, and it, it, it's one of those things, man. It's one of those things. It's, it's really a lot to bear. And can you bear it? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Can you bear that cross, man? Because uh, you better got to be careful what you wish for. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I saw a really good post today. By David Shands, right? He does the podcast, the um, Social Proof podcast. Yes. Uh, mm. uh, uh, something Never Sleeps. David Never Sleeps. David Never Sleeps, yes. Right? David Shands. So he, he posted, he said, yo, I'm going over my goals and I don't want to be a billionaire. I just want to be rich. I saw that post. And he went into in, into details in his caption, basically talking about like the, the, the type of focus, late night sleeps, the type of work ethic the you The type have, of sacrifice. Sacrifice for that type of goal. Yes. He's like, ah, I don't really want that. Like, I want yes. my money to, I want my money for freedom. And I don't want it right. to be a slave I to I don't want to become a slave to the money. Right. I want it to work for me and be able to do the things I want, but the sacrifices that have to be made. Yeah, I, thought it was, I was just like, I get it. You know, you're not seeing your children as much. Your wife ain't happy, trust me, because you... You in pursuit of the dollars and the money. And uh, so uh, we, we have to, uh, I'm not saying have sympathy for Kanye. Yeah, because no, at, at a certain point, it, it does become 
and this has happened a while ago, it does become not unhealthy, but it, it becomes like sad. You know what I'm saying? It feels yeah. like we're watching a train wreck happen in real time and everybody just happy they get music or they get new sneakers. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. So like nobody really cares in the moment. Right. And I've always said they don't have to control millions. Mm -hmm. They need control over one who has control over millions. It's the same process. Mm -hmm. So he can sell you sneakers, sell you ideas, sell you concepts, all while making him look crazy mm -hmm. at the same time. Yeah. So it's a very um, slippery slope, uh, the music industry itself. And then he's got to deal with who's going to get his catalog. Yeah. Eventually. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. Somebody is already plotting and planning right. to get their hands on that catalog. And when they when they wait until he hit the lowest point in that catalog, somebody going to, uh, you know, come for it. Well, uh, I think today a judge announced that Kim Kardashian is, like, legally single. I don't know if she's divorced. I don't know if... It, with the with the you terminology, know, the, terminology yeah. the ramifications behind that, because, like, is she married, but... Single, like I'm not understanding what that's about. Mm -hmm. Then I saw some reports that saying that the divorce did go through. So, for the, for that to happen, does he have to be? Does he have to sign off on it as well? I'm assuming it's right. a divorce. So, so, did he do it because they were saying that he was giving uh, her her lawyers a runaround? So who knows? Yeah. Well, try your best to listen to the music. Watch the doc. Really, really good doc, man. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it probably tonight. Yeah, oh, I have to check that out. out. Like, it's motivating. It's like inspiring, but you also, I feel like you kind of are better to under just kind of understand his plight a little bit more. You could have zero sympathy. Cavalier said, "I have zero sympathy. I get it. Got you. I get it. Got you." But I feel like you understand him a little bit better. And then when you're out there by yourself, right? Who do you trust? Right. And then remember, Cam and them. Uh, whether uh, you agree with them or not, they provided at least a safe haven for him. You know what I mean? Well, well, you know, mm. initially, <laughs> they had their own ulterior motives and plans to suck up all these black men and, and do the ritual work that they need to do in sorcery because they witches, all of them. Let me say allegedly. I was trying allegedly. To... Yeah, they, those is witches. I was trying to say that. And then they drained his energy. And now they're going to throw him to the wolves and make him look crazy. Mm -hmm. Crazy Earth. Yes. Yeah. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So, uh, quick update on the whole uh, Russia-Ukraine thing. It's getting weirder. It's by the minute. It's getting weirder by the minute because when, hey, as soon as you feel like you kind of figured it out, okay, this is why it's happening, more information comes out. So now, I'm, I'm, I, uh, real credible source that... Uh, Ukraine is sitting on a lot of natural oil. Oh, boy. Right? <laughs> yeah. Follow the money. Yeah, sitting Jeez. on a lot of natural oil. Follow they the money. They themselves don't have the money nor technology to get it. Got you. Russia does, obviously. Uh-huh. And it's just kind of... A, it, it, it's a lot. And it's one of those situations, again, where there are many different uh, facets to why this could be happening, but they all could be true at the very same time. Like, it, they just check all the boxes again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, with, with COVID and how that checked all the boxes for whatever was happening, whatever, you yeah. know, yeah. You know the, the, the world globalists at least are trying to put forward. It, it just all checks the boxes. Like, globally, locally, nationally, it just checks all the boxes. This Russian um, Ukraine situation kind of checks a lot of boxes too, because people could be saying that they could be going after bio labs allegedly. I don't know. Right, right. I heard I, that I, too. I'm not, I'm not over in Ukraine, but then they're saying that they have a lot of natural oil that they are getting again. Um, you know, the NATO uh, expansion again. That could make mm -hmm. all of these things could be true, or you know. Who are we to know right now? Yeah, no, absolutely. Right, I got into a debate with somebody on Twitter the other day. Oh, why you keep doing listen, that? No, 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 no. Listen, listen. Why you keep doing that? <laughs> listen, 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 listen. You know what? One half of me goes, "Why am I doing this?" The other half of me, I appreciate it because it just kind of shows me the mindset of the na the, the average person. Dude, you should know the mindset. Yeah, that. but then it also keeps me kind of sharp to just kind of like how I'm gonna form my argument. Mm -hmm. And how I just feel about these things, right? Because my I had my original tweet was, uh, doesn't it bother doesn't it bother people that a lot of the information that we're getting 
it's false. Like from this whole Russian yeah, thing, it's yeah, false. Yeah. It's video game footage. It's Instagram pictures. It's pictures. Cardboard from, guns. Cardboard guns. Pictures from three years ago that they're framing it like that was you know happening right on the moment. There's pictures not even from that country. You know, from things like that. And one time they even showed a video of these tanks getting like these trucks getting bombed and stuff like that. People are like, oh my god, that's terrible. But come to find out, it was Syrians that were getting bombed. And you know who? We were doing the bombing? Obama. We were. We were. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So it's, 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 it's amazing. So I, I, I put that tweet out there and somebody I went to college with, he said, it doesn't matter if the, if, if the video is uh, fake, people are dying. Dude, do you hear your statement? I just said, wait, wait. It doesn't matter if the video is fake, but people are dying. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? And then everything I, like, I kind of... I didn't make the argument that it doesn't matter that people are dying. I didn't make the argument that I'm not sympathetic that people are dying. I'm just making the argument that why, if this is so devastating, and it is, right, for these people over there, why do you need fake information? Right, right. Why, why can't real information just stand on its own? Just stand on its own. Right? And then the, the fact, and then, you know, that, that debate kind of went nowhere. He was just kind of making a bunch of different points. I said, be well, dog. You know what I'm saying? But... It goes to the fact that, like, the, the way that we're kind of economically canceling Russia, but at the same time, you want Putin to be Hitler, but we're canceling, like, regular people. We're canceling people here. What if it's the reverse? What do you mean? What if Putin is the hero? Okay, okay, okay. I'm not... No, no the reason I said it, because my elders always taught me, if you believe the polar opposite... You will be closer to the truth. Mm. They all said that. If you believe the exact opposite, not that you would, it would be the truth, yeah. but you would be closer to the truth. So, because here's the thing the way, okay, I, I can liken this back to the pandemic. The way that they were pushing the jab kind of just forces you to go, wait, time out, something's not right. Right. Right? Just naturally speaking, like, hey, take these frogs. So what they're doing to Russian people, just Russian civilians, that have nothing to do with it, they, 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 where, where, wherever they're at, they, there's a cat show that uh, Russian-bred cats are not allowed to perform in the show. Oh. Right? Um, they don't think this is getting crazy? Uh, in the FIFA game, the, uh, the Russian national team was being taken out of the video game. Of, of a video of game. Of a video game. Wow. You get what I'm saying? That the, the, the virtual signaling is getting... So you getting know what that tells me, Malcolm? Comical at this point. You get what I'm saying? That's propaganda. Yeah, and it's weird. It's just like if... Full-fledged propaganda. It's weird. Say what you want to say because they're driving the narrative. Now, remember I always tell you, young man, most people don't want to do no thinking. They want their thinking done for them. Yes. So when they watch CNN or Fox or whatever... Fox tells them what to think. They go, okay, I'm good. Based on what Fox mm. and CNN said, this is what it is. You don't even dial numbers in your phone no more. You see a name, you hit it. Right. You want things done for you. True. So thinking is a, just analytical thinking alone requires a different set of tools. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it generates a different set of molecules in your body. And it's hard work. Yeah. Nobody wants to do the hard work. <laughs> we want to just believe what's been told to us. And then one thing leads to another. They, they, they stopping cats yeah. from fucking performing. Yeah. Um, taking people out of video games. It was, it was, I think Amazon is not shipping to, to thing no more. Um, They're not shipping Adidas suits. I saw that. Adidas, is, we're not shipping suits to Russia anymore. They've given you the bad guy once again. When are y'all going to see the goddamn narrative of this? They've given you the bad guy. Now, am I saying Putin is innocent? No. Anytime you give me the bad guy and then you support it with all your bullshit, I got to go, hmm. And you know what's crazy? It kind of makes me want to look back on like just like how media was back in like... 0203, like when the Iraq war, when you know weapons and I want to see what the media was doing because same it thing. No, it couldn't have been this obvious, dude. It was the same thing. It couldn't. Have, it couldn't. They gave been. you Osama bin Laden. It couldn't have been because like this is just like. Dumb. And let me tell you how they gave you Osama bin Laden. They introduced uh, the the the, uh, the first World Trade. Yes. Bombing. Yes. In '93 or whatever it was. 
that blew up the basement. Mm. They said, this I swear, this is verbatim. With the, well, not verbatim, but they said, wow, if you really wanted to blow up a building, uh, you would hit it from the top. You, you, you wouldn't hit it from the bottom, I swear. Mm. And then that's when they introduced the name Osama Bin Laden. Mm. They introduced it into your lexicon, so now you associated the World Trade basement bombing with Osama Bin Laden. So then when it happened in 2001, it was, I, I'm sitting there watching the news because, you know, I'm trained to watch the first five minutes of every news uh, broadcast because that's when they ain't got their stories together. Mm. Once they got all their stories, it was an hour later, once they got all the stories together, it was a wrap. Mm. And I'm sitting there watching, and the dude was like, uh, well, the news reporter, we don't know if this is a terrorist attack. It's a terrorist attack. We just got word. This is, a And they just ran with the narrative from there and got people emotionally involved. Because mm -hmm. when you see people jumping out of windows, mm -hmm. trying to save their lives. Mm -hmm. I told you my man Bishmi, he died in the basement. of. He worked there. Mm -hmm. He called his moms two days later. Wow. He was in the basement. They couldn't do nothing mm -hmm. about it. So he died a slow death. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And But the narrative just continued to run. And people were so emotionally tied into it that you could not rationalize and they lay, they lay all of this stuff out brick by brick for you. Saddam Hussein mm -hmm. in the 80s or 90s or whatever. You know, there's always a bad guy. And Putin has been on the horizon of being a bad guy a long time. Yes. Long time. Yes. And now his chip or his piece on the chessboard is in play. Yeah. What do we do? I'm more likely to say he's the good guy. Yeah, but you know what's very interesting? Remember, I, I, I spoke about just this. keeping it a bean. I spoke about this. We're just playing YouTube overlords, by the way. We're yeah, oh, playing. yeah, yeah. We're just yeah. playing. And we, I don't know allegedly. why. Allegedly. I'm, I'm hitting the allegedly button. I don't know why. We're just playing because, yeah. So, um, I was talking about uh, early this week, I think it was, early this week, how the Democrats now, they become so radicalized with how they do things now, right? If they don't like the way you talk, they just destroy you now, right? right. They take your lip, they take the way you They have the power to do that. They have the power to just destroy you now, right? Right. So now they've likened that energy towards Russians, like all Russians, right? Mm -hmm. That's why it's like okay to just go after people who didn't do anything. Right. And you you might even start seeing people attack Russians in the street. Yeah. No, that's what that's about to happen. That's about to that's go the down. next that's the next that's move about on this play. That's about just to start beating Russians in the street. And, you know, for what? For what? The, the power of the media it's, is so goddamn yeah, powerful. it's crazy. Especially for those who don't do any thinking. Remove yourself. I tell you this all the time, guys. Remove your emotions from the situation and just sit back and do 20 minutes of just meditation and study and go, who's telling me this? Why are mm. they telling me this? What agenda do they have for telling me this? And then don't lend your energy to it. Mm -hmm. Observe it. See what's going on. Do not lend your energy to it because then you become a part of the whirlwind. You start, fuck, you might start attacking Russians and shit. You yeah. know? Yeah. That's the same thing. Somebody mentioned it. Same thing um, happened with uh, Muslims and during 9-11. Same thing. Asians and things. It's the same. Asian, yeah. It, it, it's getting corny. It's just getting corny. Just don't let them tell you who your enemies are, like like verbatim, like he's the enemy. And now, and, and then what happened to o o Omicron and all that shit? Oh, yeah, dude. That shit is like distant memory now. Yeah. <laughs> That's how fast this shit moves dude, on the timeline. Yeah. Yo, it's, yo, it's a South Park episode where um, one of the Cartman, is, they, they get AIDS or something like that, right? So then they thought they about to get sympathy. They're like, ooh, hey, that's just like so 90s. Like, it's like so <laughs> retro. Now that's how COVID is. It's just like, yeah. yeah they, were, they, were, um, they were protesting. They were parents protesting in front of the DOE today. Mm. Right? And it was like, it was like maybe, maybe 10 to 20 of them. Yeah, 20 people yeah, out there. It wasn't there. a lot of them. And they're protesting. I'm just kind of like, that's, that's just so last month. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's just so 2020. Like, I don't exactly. Know. <laughs> Exactly. You you want to wear masks? Like I'm confused. Yep. 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 Yeah. So that's the way that goes. Just pay attention. That's all we want to do. We don't have the answers here, but all we want to do is examine and question 
what, where the source of this information is coming from and who stands to benefit from getting us to follow this information. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Oh, did you guys, have you guys seen the, um, the racist um, journal, uh, the, the racist journalism that's going on regarding this stuff though? No. Like they're talking about, you know, refugees because apparently a million refugees have left Ukraine. Um, Uber is already, you know, um, willing to give Ukrainians help. Airbnbs and letting them live there for free and stuff like that. Nothing. I don't remember them doing anything like that for the Haitian refugees that right. just came over here recently. But right. that's, I digress. That's neither here nor there. Yes. Neither here nor there. They were getting hunted down on horseback and stuff like that. That happened, but you know. But they were talking about. They was like, yeah, these are just you know um, civilized you know Europeans. This isn't like a third world nation. These are you know. These are white families. These are, you know, mm. somebody get, that could be your next door neighbor. These aren't, um, you know, Afghanistan, Af um, you know, Afghans or Iraqis. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, yo, and they are with a straight like, face, straight face. Like this is how they feel. Like this, this, is how they this feel. Not, shouldn't, this shouldn't be happening to us. This yeah, should only be happening at one of these third world countries. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So that's what it is, and um, so we're gonna keep our eye on it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's that, that's just how my how my training has always been. Yeah, and um, Biden he's talking about giving ten billion dollars to Ukraine for aid. Um, wow. Money, weapons, and stuff like that. But he's not going to put any U.S. troops on the ground to directly go at it with the yet. Troops. I don't know, man. Because did you hear his uh, address? I heard some of it. Did you hear him say some wild shit about Afghanistan? And he meant to say Ukraine. They did this motherfucker. Oh yeah, he's he's sleep, he's asleep at the wheel for sure. Yeah, he's definitely asleep. At he's the asleep wheel. at the wheel. But I'm just saying because there's so much at play. Just kind of even thinking about going to war with Russia because they do have the big. They do have a stick. Like they do have. Yeah, they got a little blicky. They with got them. nuclear yeah. weapons. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like you don't want to engage directly with them. So like giving money, that's a it's a it's a slight way to. Kind of go at it with them, and I I don't think that Americans think Ukraine really have a chance at defending off Russia. Mm -hmm. All well wishes, you know, like you know we hear great great stories and stuff like that that are turning out to be fake. But I don't I'm not sure. So him giving money, and not to mention just flat out, you give ten billion dollars to these people, but if black people want to ask for money, it's always something. Yeah, it's always running around, right? Yeah. I'm not gonna, and then you know Kamala Harris is not gonna do everything just for black people. No, you know what I mean. That's what she said. She said no, I'm not any black people. Who no. Yeah. Uh, PPP loans, tax force, all this stuff. To, except yo, dude. yeah, he got a task force coming. Yeah, for them, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So if you got that PPP loan, just you know, start putting your books in order. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and and because uh, they coming for you. Yeah, no stimmies. Yeah, not yeah, you use high on the hog. Yeah, that's good, man. Yeah, they're coming for you. Somebody said Biden's clone was really breaking down. Yeah, like he's really asleep at the wheel. Yeah, like, he's he's definitely asleep at the wheel. He said Uranians instead of Ukrainians. Yeah, yeah, he, he just was <laughs> wilding. Let's go get him. Yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is he talking yeah. about? Everybody was just like, what? And if you, you just watch Kamal in the background, even she's like, yeah, you know it's crazy because it's funny. But the fuck is wilding? Like, cause he they can't make a face because the cameras right, are right, on them right, right. constantly. Yeah, so she has to uh, just she has to be like, yeah. And that whole state of the union stuff, like you stand up, sit down, yeah, you, you sit when you don't agree with something. It's all theater, bro. Like, it's all theater. It's all theater. Yeah, you have no freedoms in this country. Please stop it. And my man Steve Canal said they ain't even wear mask during the Mardi Gras this year. All right, so we we back to normal. What 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 COVID? What? Yeah. When was that? Yeah. No, it's just so retro. Look, <laughs> that shit is gone. It's so now weird. it's about Putin. Yo, in France, right? The president in France <laughs> said, basically, this is a war on the unvaccinated. We're gonna make their lives uncomfortable. They just suspended all their mandates today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. There you go. Right. So, I know, so my man is out there, my, my man Kenneth was out there on New Orleans for Mardi Gras, right? So he's sending us pictures of food and stuff like that. I said, uh, why is there no pictures of tits in my phone? Absolutely. What is your problem? Nigga, don't send me the food, send like, me why, the tits. Like, why is the, the I don't, he was like, nah, I'm, 
It's just not popping out. I don't nah. think you applying yourself. You ain't applying yourself, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming through with a bunch of bees. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Special pair for you? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? them shits? Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hell to the yeah. Shouts out to y'all, man. But um, we about to take a quick commercial break. And we shall return. Yes, let's do that. The names are um, inspired by men and women that, again, have impacted me, have impacted history, um, people who have done great things. And that's the core of what my business is. I always want to focus and center on blackness, black excellence, and the greatness that we've contributed to society. Luxury. Black. What we're going to do is visit two past lives, life between lives, 5, 10, and 20 years into the future. Welcome back, y'all. Who wants to share first? I was in the Ming Dynasty era. I was a man. I was a crystal healer. They were showing me, like, picking roots and plants and stuff. So the first life, I believe I was in Egypt. I was in front of, like, this, like, this tall grass field, and I was just, like, studying the grass and watching it sway and and I was very big, I was green, and I was tall. You know, the Lion King, when Simba went on top of the mountain and was, can see, oversee everything? I was a deer on a hill on top like that, and I was just like, wow. I go through another portal, and this time I'm underwater. I'm in my mid-50s, I can breathe underwater. I have paws, and I can glow, I'm bioluminescent. I transition into this other body. I was a man, I was lanky, had like this best friend that was a bear. <laughs> And I can talk to animals. <laughs> we are back. And we are back. Thank you for supporting of these businesses. New yes. Dawn. Yes, New Dawn. She's new with us this month. New with us this month. Very dope products. Very dope products. We, we had them out here last show. But yep, yep. Dope you products. get to see the dope products. Um, Aris, Aris uh, we had me, me and Mom and Dad actually had a call with her yesterday. Mm. Talked about some things. She's actually licensed in New York now as well. Right, right. Right? So she's licensed in California, Georgia, New York, and a, it's a couple other states. If you're in the chat, put, put, them, in, you know, put them in the chat. Um, going over some stuff for, you know, uh, insurance and Noble, Noble and, and stuff like that. Very cool stuff. Insurance is not the most exciting thing, but when you're thinking about just... Uh, it needs to be done. It needs to be done, right? So when, you, when you're thinking about just how you know your kids are gonna be set, your family's gonna be set, it helps you sleep a little bit better at night. You and, know and, and that's how, 
forward thinking black people should think. Yeah. We gotta stop living in the goddamn moment. Does she deal with accidental death? Because you know, I be leaving like the knives pointed up. When my wife be doing the dishes. Nah, I, I, I don't I, think so. I left a little skateboard out. <laughs> like how how intense is the investigation? I was I'm asking uh, like if my wife slip on a skateboard in the mm -hmm. middle of the night, like the other day she was fixing the light. I don't know if you saw it, that shit started sparking. <laughs> I said, go ahead back up there, girl. Like, get that work done. Because I be trying to leave my wife all the time with my scratches and shit. Yeah, it don't be happening. I be like, oh, I'm leaving this ass. And then I, I don't yeah. win. And then I got to tell her I love her and I miss her. Yeah. yeah. Into the next scratches. I'm out of this mother. Yeah. So we want to thank Aris for now. She's available in New York. Yes, her information is in the description below. In as the well. description below. And uh, you know what I mean? So that's mm. what it is. All right. Flowers of care. Yes. Get those flowers in. And even our girl, Neo, she has a new uh, commercial. Yeah. So she's ever expanding on what it is that she do. And obviously, people are feeling her because mm. she's back. And uh, we love it. Yes, yes. We love it. All right. You're listening to the sounds of Urban X. Hmm? That's what I'm talking about. She said, I'll be covered. <laughs> I'll have all my knives. I'll be like, point all these mm. shits up because mm. the juggler is right there. Issues. <laughs> so um, one of the cops who was, uh, dur who was present during the raid of uh, Breonna Taylor when she was killed, uh, he was charged for uh, wanton endangerment. He was the only cop charged, even though the other two cops were actually ones who most likely killed her. They're the ones who fired shots into the apartment. Okay. This cop, he was charged for one endangerment. He was found not guilty today. Wow. So what was his role in this? Did he fire shots? I don't think he fired a shot. Um, he, was the, he was the only cop that was charged. He was uh, um, Brett Hankinson. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was, he was fired as a result of Breonna Taylor's death. Mm -hmm. Because you remember... Um, during the whole George Floyd thing, Brown and Taylor, it was George Floyd, Brown and Taylor, Ahmaud Arbery. Like, those yeah, are the names. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. if you kind of got caught up in those uh, cases, you were probably on the chopping block, right? So, he got fired immediately. And uh, the other, he was with uh, two other people, Sergeant uh, John McKinley and Miles Cosgrove, who fired six shots that killed Brown and Taylor. They were never charged by the Kentucky so, so uh, General I'm Attorney. confused. The ones who fired the shots at her... They were never charged. Never charged. Yes. He don't fire shots. Yes. He gets charged? Yes. What kind of backwards shit is this? No idea. It said three, it said, uh, three jurors in the initial trial against him, against them, uh, complained that they would never charge, that uh, they were never given a chance to charge them with murder. So that was probably why. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. All so, right. So if you're in the, 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 the legal system or the justice, it's the legal system, right? It's a, so, so many different loopholes around it because if we don't charge you with something like second degree murder and what you did technically wasn't second degree murder, but it was like murder and then that's still innocent because we didn't charge you with second degree murder. Yeah, yeah. It's a really weird thing. It's that a goes real through. slippery slope real with the slippery law. Slope. So when people get indicted for stuff, right? So the whole, a lot of the times with, with black people, when we want justice for something, we want a cop to just get charged for something or indicted. Mm -hmm. And that was the battle at first, right? Oh, he got charged. Finally, he got charged. And then it would never come up with anything. Now it's, if he's getting charged, what is he getting charged with? What is he getting charged with? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? To the point where it, it's that what he did fits that so we can actually get a conviction off of that. So this whole Breonna Taylor thing, it's sad. Yeah. It is sad because I'm not going to lie. Like, I, I kind of... Her her name and stuff like that kind of got washed with you know COVID. Yep, and yep. Kind of got washed with a lot of different things that were going on. But the fact that uh, I thought you know since George Floyd officers got arrested, got charged, you would think that this was kind of yeah. But the George Floyd case was so monumental. Yeah. On so many levels, I'm no. not even gonna get into it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. it became you know, so some charges had to be brought up on that. Very sad, very sad. It was sad for that cop who started the day before now. God damn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you figure you, your first day on the job, you're going to be getting a cat out of a yeah, tree, yeah. helping an old lady cross the no, street. No, you are in the most monumental case. God damn. 
<laughs> like, Ma, Ma, I'm going to jail. God damn, I just got the job. Yeah. That was a little crazy. Yeah, that's a little crazy. Uh, Sandra Edwards says the legal system is a criminal organization. That we know, yes. Yeah, you are 110% right about that. It is rough. And it's designed to keep us uh, going to jail so that we can make money and they can get back to the slave labor and all the things that keep this country going. Absolutely. There are more black men in jail now that were in slavery during those times. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And my whole thing is, what's the rehabilitation process? You got a whole bunch of dudes in jail. Yeah. Just sitting around waiting to get out. Like, what mm -hmm. do you think is going to happen when they get out? So that whole rehabilitation, where in places like Sweden, jail is different. Yeah. You know, you, you come in, you do your jail time, you go home. Yeah. You know, with yeah. your family, and then I got to go do jail time, I'll be back. You know, so it's, it's a different ball game. Right. You're listening to the sounds of Urban X. So some good news, I guess, right? Um, I, I guess you could look at it as good news. The House uh, passed the Emmett Till Anti-Lynching Act, and it was, you know, by overwhelming majority of 422 to 3. Right, clap that yeah. up. So what does this mean in detail? Yeah. Well, it says, um, well, this was, uh, this was, uh, by the person who brought this um, up. He said, uh, when a conspiracy to commit a hate crime results in the death or bodily injury, a perpetrator can, re uh, can receive a maximum of 30 years in prison under this act, uh, in addition to any other federal crimes that the perpetrator might commit. Because uh, in some states, in some counties and stuff like that, lynching isn't a federal crime. Ain't that something? In 2022, right? In 2022. That's why I said if it's... That's not even a federal crime. That's yeah. why I said if it's good news because it feels like this should have always been a given. The fact that even three people voted against this is just kind of wild, yeah. too. Yeah, like, absolutely. Like, bro. Absolutely. And I think it was like Texas, Mississippi. Was it Texas? It was Texas. Who, who are the people that voted against this? I want to actually look this up. Um, keep talking. Keep talking. Emmett Till Bill sounds good on the surface. I hope it actually does its job. Absolutely, Aunt C. They actually tried to get this passed 200 times past the House. Right. And it got shot down every time. It even got shot down in uh, recent 2020 after the Ahmaud Arbery case. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Died in the 19... 78 Billy Holiday Strange Fruit was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame. This passes 2022, 42 years ago. I remember you saying something about the number 44. Interesting. So it's yeah. Andrew Clyde, Thomas Massey, and Chip Roy who opposed this. From, from what states? Uh, Georgia, Kentucky, and Texas. Let's kill them. <laughs> Stop playing. No. Oh, we can't, we can't kill them. <laughs> Oh, we're going to get shut down. Oh, we can't oh, do guys. that. We can't do that. That would be extreme, yes? Yes, it would mm -hmm. be. All right. Jeez. But yeah, so good news. Good news that hopefully um, it's more than just like a, a moral victory. Hopefully something does come of that. Hopefully. Do, hopefully do, they can put this in place. Hopefully they can put this in place. But why did use. it take so many, so long? Who was voting this down for 20 years? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Goes to show you what they feel about... The original man and original woman on this planet. That goes to show what they feel about um, these, like, I guess, like, not even, they don't really think that they're that serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. l lynching, you know what I mean? Oh, like, my, my, my grandfather lynched everybody. Yeah. Shit. Oh, guys, real, sorry. For people who sent on, in Super Chats earlier, thank you so much. We kind of, um, yes. We have kind of, you know, talking. And thank you to Keston Durant. Thank you for the Super uh, for Yeah, the thank you to. Combat Cleaning Services. Appreciate you so, so much. Yes. We do. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So, uh, going back to this uh, Russian-Ukraine thing real quick, the, uh, other, other countries, Germany, France, they have started seizing uh, the properties of these Russian oligarchs, these Russian billionaires. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, one dude has a mega yacht. It's like I saw that. $600, 600 million. million dollar yacht. Damn. And they season this, and they season these things. And I was watching something else, like, in regards to this, because first, I didn't, they kept, you know, saying, like, these Russian oligarchs, I'm like, how the hell you just season their stuff? Like, that's crazy. 
these people are billionaires because like they run, they kind of run Russia along with Putin. Yeah, it's a right? team. So it's it's a team of them. So it's kind of like once you uh, put a hold on their finances, you do kind of do something to that. To, of course, to them as well. Um, they they own a lot of real estate in New York City. A lot of real estate. Mm. These, this those buildings that you know apartments go for like twenty million dollars, but they don't even live there. They just have. They just need somewhere to kind of. Put their money. Put their money, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And New York is so, like, secretive. Like, you don't even know who owns half of these half, apartments. Yeah, of course not. Of and course they, don't, not. they don't come to live in. They just have them. Like, just have them. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. $600 million boat. And Crazy. then these Russians, remember, I, we're not ready. I'm not sure we're ready for war with them. So, they, they box trees. <laughs> fucking Siberian tigers and shit. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Ah. Uh, what are we doing? We high on the hog. We eating chicken sandwiches. No, uh, well, here's the thing. Our military, we spent a lot of money on military. But if, uh, let's say if they drafted me, come on. True, true that, true that. I'm in the draft line. They go, uh, you, you step forward. <laughs> true that, true that. Is that your actual stomach, sir? <laughs> yes. Just go home, sir. Yeah, go, that go, true go, that. Go home. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I, I think you know. I don't think we'll we'll get there yet. I seen them little kids. Boxing trees. I did too. And tearing them shits up like, ah, ah. remember uh, the Joker uh, in basketball? Oh, jo- Jokic, yes. Jokic, yeah. when he uh, hit the uh, Morris brother in yeah. the back. He still and, hurt. Yeah, and he's <laughs> and still out. That's how hard he hit him. He still hurt. And his, uh, his other brother was talking shit, and them Russian dudes was like, we'll be in Miami. Yeah. And his two brothers is bigger than him. And they was in Miami like this. What? Yeah. So they, they, them Russians is cut different. You niggas are smoking too much weed and partying. <laughs> Y'all ain't ready. And then we got now we got the the LBGT. They have to fight. This is true. How how how's that gonna work? What? Well, uh, well, yeah. Just saying. They can fight. Yeah. Can they? Gay dudes can fight. Yeah. You ever seen the gay fight? Gay dudes yeah, fight? I've seen a dude gay switch that shit on yeah. you. <laughs> Be like, oh yeah. shit! Now this this shit done turned into something else. Yeah. First you was a girl. Yeah. And you was talking shit, and I said something, and then you turned into a dude, and now everybody's watching, and I'm yeah. in the middle of a fight with a gay dude, and he knocking me out. Wow. Yeah, gay dudes fight. I seen I seen them. It was an Olympic boxer back in the day and shit. I seen them tussle. Yeah. That that'll be that'll be bad. That'll be real bad. So, um, you know, apparently uh, Russia and China have this little secret alliance. So apparently. Because remember the Olympics were in China. Yes. This year, apparently China told Russia like, "Yo, we know y'all are about to do. Hold off on that until the Olympics is over, please." Really? Yes. yes. Wow. Yes. Like, don't fuck this money yeah. up. <laughs> yes. We got this thing going. Then y'all can get ahead in there and do yeah. that. Yeah. And follow the money, man. Yeah. Follow the money. And um, but apparently. Um, China is not willing to go, like actually step out and say that they, they denounce what Russia is doing. Mm-hmm. They kind of they, they they playing politics because yeah, yeah. Um, you know how the world is kind of reacting. I don't think uh, Russia thought that the world will kind of just ban against them to cancel them. You, you would have thought Russia tweeted some homophobic slur yeah, twenty yeah, years ago. Yeah. Like that's how everybody's acting. Yeah, like, yeah, acting crazy. People are ashamed of their last name if they Russian. Yeah, Jokic is from Serbia. Is that that's not Russia? Oh, I'm not sure. He looked Russian to me. <laughs> they all look the same to me. Thank you. Appreciate that. What about you? Yeah, black man. They all look the yeah. same. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. They say, I am not Chinese. I am Korean. They say they all look the same to me. Um. Somebody just said China been flying by Taiwan. Yeah, but you know what's crazy? It the way that the world is kind of acting. You kind of don't want to be. Yeah, they can do whatever the hell they want, right? China can invade yeah. Taiwan if they want, right? But but isn't that a very similar situation? To very Ukraine? similar situation. Very similar situation. Okay. But I don't think that China wants to be ostracized in regards to world, like globally. Not right now. Not right now. But it's I also high. heard the Congo, some people in the Congo have been removing some Chinese people from the mines. Oh, from the uh, cobalt mines, yes. From the cobalt mines. Yes, I've heard that, that too, yes. Yeah. Get their asses out of there. What do Russians look like? What, what do you say? They big, they seven feet tall, 
and the blonde hair, they very, very strong. And they don't smile. And they don't smile. <laughs> and they take a tiger. I've seen them choke a tiger out, like a Siberian tiger. This, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I seen that little girl, she had to be about 12, son, and she was punching the tree, and she knocked the tree down. <laughs> she didn't knock the tree she down. She knocked the tree down. I said, okay, that's all I need to see. I am not messing with Russia. Oh, man. I'm not messing with Russia. Nope. And our girls over here twerking, they punching trees out. I don't know if you want Yo, that smoke. Yo, you know what's crazy? They, they talked about how, like, now we should kind of start to look at TikTok as a weapon against America. Of course it is. Because like, it's making our attention span way shorter. It's making and our it's, kids it's like just way... Stupid. Just, yes. It's dumbing I, down our children. Yeah, yeah. Remember, war takes on many different facets. Yeah. It's not always actual physical war. It's psychological war. It's a spiritual war. It's so many different le- biochemical war mm-hmm. in the food, the water. So we are constantly under... Attack, chemtrails, it, it's all over the place. And now you can add social media. Yeah. Because, yeah, our kids. And, and the fact just, that, like, in China, like, their kids can't even be on social media, that should tell you something, right? Yeah, yeah. But but listen, what did, uh, not Gates, a few of them high tech. Yeah. They, they said they don't even let their the kids, kids. Yeah, on the same apps that I created. On the same apps they created. Yeah. They don't even let the kids play that. What does that say to you and your children? Yeah. 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 Crazy. Crazy stuff. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So, a pretty dope story. Amazon and CUNY, they announced a joint educational partnership with Amazon providing a tuition for hourly employees to pursue their um, associate and bachelor's degrees. I like it. That is fly. I love it. I like it. I like it. If you're going to work for a company, you have to be able to see a future with that company and if that company is going to invest in you, and then you know this is not a stagnant position. This is a position that's like, okay, I'm here for now, but now I can have them help pay for my, edu- my further education. The, the rest is on you, brothers and yeah. sisters. If, you go to, if you've been at the same job for 27 years and you're comfortable, that is your doing. Young people think different now. They trying to be on the move. I want to shout out my man, Clint. Yeah, man. Really, really proud of my brother because he's, again, we're talking about somebody who um, pivoted, right? Yes. He pivoted and he applied himself. He studied. He's the one really, who did the soundtrack for us. Yes, who, who did the intro track for um, you know, the podcast. He pivoted. He started you know, getting into tech and stuff like that. And I'm not going to put his business out there, but he landed a real dope position. Real dope position. Software engineer. Really, really, really proud of my brother. Yeah, with a real dope company. Yeah. And, and, and you know, so shout him out because uh, he's got baby girl. Yeah, man. And now the future looks real bright. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Uh, you know, you guys just clap that up. Mm-hmm. You guys continue to make me proud. You know them since kindergarten, yes? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. That's a brotherhood. Yeah, man. Actually, that's just... We were on the same baseball team that my grandfather coached. My grandfather coached a local baseball team, mm-hmm. and we were actually, and he didn't even know that was my grandfather. Like we, like we actually, obviously in the same like class from like first grade and on. Mm-hmm. And then he saw me. He was like, "Oh, you know Coach Lobo?" I was like, "It's my grandfather." You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. So shout out Clinton. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We appreciate you, King, and keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, with that being said, he's very brilliant, very bright. You know me. Mm-hmm. I want to know some backdoor stuff. Yeah. We can make a couple of million. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give you time to get settled, Clint. Then, you know. Listen, I'm going to figure out a way. <laughs> I'm going to figure out a way. I don't know how yet. <laughs> but I have a group of friends who are all in different fields who all have great skills. I'm going to figure out a way to put it all together. I'm not sure how yet. Mm-hmm. But we're going to do something big. That's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Because the company you keep, kid. hmm it's, it, it, it determines your future. Mm-hmm. If, you, if you're hanging out with broke dudes who just on the corner doing broke shit, good luck with that. Yeah. So you guys have to constantly, continuously challenge each other, big each other up, and make those power moves. And me and my boy, me and my boy Terry was talking about this yesterday, like how you just kind of change like every few years, right? And that means like your, your, all your relationships kind of have to change as well. Mm-hmm. So if your friends is yeah, if y'all still talking about the same thing, yes, that y'all were talking about four years ago, you know what I mean? Right, like, right. 
Like I started traveling the world at 19 and 20 years old. And when I came back, first of all, of course my uh, horizons was broadened by what I was seeing, but I was coming back seeing the dudes on, on the same corner, talking about they holding down the block. I'm like, the world is your block. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that let me to know, all right, I can't, you know, I can't fuck with y'all like that. Yeah. You know. Somebody said, might as well start a trade school. Listen, it'll be the right, if I start a school, it, it's going to be. Well, we're going to start the school. We're going to start the school. <laughs> we're going to start the trade school. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters, we're going to start the trade school. <laughs> need donations. We just need you to need, give us some donations, donations right now. Give us donations right now. We're going to start the trade school. Malcolm is going to start the trade school right now. Just give us some donations. We'll start the trade school. <laughs> <sighs> come on, yeah, come on, y'all set yourselves up for yeah, that. Yeah, set yourselves up for come that. Come on, one. come for on. For sure. <laughs> you are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. Oh man, so on on Monday we forgot to talk we forgot to talk about this because it kinda happened like right as we were ending the show. But your man Lakeith Stanfield. Whoa, yeah. I didn't know that was him, bro. Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. I just kept listen, I saw the picture and I just blew by it. Because I don't want to even put no energy in. That's my man from Get Out? Yeah, man. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, God, man. God damn it. Like, and what, what was this for? I It was some fashion shoot. And yeah, man. Jeez. I, bro, bro. What, yeah. are, what, what are we going to do, man? Yeah, listen. And then, and then a couple days later, Capo. Jim, Jim Jones. Jones. Like, yeah. what's, what's up, man? Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing with the Jim Jones situation, and it might piss a few people off. I understand. <laughs> I understand, I do. Look, hey, 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 let me explain. Elaborate. When you go into a fashion show, mm -hmm. who's designing the clothes? Gay people. Gay people. Yeah. Oh, no, so no. even the men's shit look gay. So if you're in it, and you not all gay people, you know. What no, I mean. no, I'm just simply saying, is that as long as his breast? That's a that's a wife beat. If if you're gonna wear, it, you got to just go all the way. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> like that looks tacky. Yeah, it looks very tacky. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna wear that, the shawl. So, so you got to just and, go all the way with it. I'm not saying in his defense because you can always go, yo, I'm not, I'm not fucking wearing this. Yeah. Y'all got to do something better than this. The aesthetics of it all. He was getting his nails done. Yeah. He was getting a facial, mm. and he had on a purple blouse. The only one we allowed to wear purple is Prince. And even Prince had me like, okay. <laughs> so, but when you go to these fashion shows, and you're not in control of the fashion, mm. they just be, and they be moving fast back there too. Yeah. I know you, I put that on, go. And you be next to you be like, oh shit. <laughs> You out there walking and shit and fucking scarf on and shit. You're like, what the fuck happened to Dot, son? <laughs> Yo, shut up, shut up, son. I'm making my next move and shit. So that's how that shit works. So I'm not saying that's what happened to him. His man wore pink for years. Oh, Cam, yes. His yes. man Cameron wore pink for years. Yeah. And he, he, you know, he stood by that shit. So now your man got on the lavender shit. That's lavender. That's that, ain't, lavender. that ain't purple. Yeah. I know we're purple. <laughs> that shit is laughing. Um, so, yeah, this shit is crazy. Uh, he looked like he needs to... And I had a dream about Jim Jones mm. before this, and he was telling me... He was wearing that? No. He was doing <laughs> sit-ups, and he was telling me, Dot, come on, at least do 10 fucking sit-ups. I'm like, why? Yeah. He's not lying. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm like, why the fuck would Jim Jones come in my dream yeah. and tell me to do at least 10 fucking sit-ups? And I'm watching this shit. This shit is crazy. Yeah. This shit but, uh, is crazy. Now you want me to take you serious, dude? Yeah. Yeah. Come but on. Yo, the, the thing with Lakeith Stanfield, like, I don't get like the fascination behind dressing like that. Yeah, I, I don't know what, what it proves. Yeah. But of course, we know there's an all-out attack on masculinity in every sense of the word. So just make sure if you're going to do a fashion show, you know what the fuck you're wearing before you get there. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I'm, or and have the right to go. Nah, I'm not putting that on. Yeah, because I I know some dudes who um have their own fashion lines that are fire. Now that's different. Yeah, these are dudes. Yeah, because I I modeled and my man had a 
a masculine line yeah, of like clothing. My man, my man Josh. You put that shit on, be like, yo, this shit is tough. But when you go to these high fashion yeah, shows, yeah. they'll throw anything on your ass. But this has no place with yeah, Lakeith. Yeah, I'm just like, None. I, I don't even know what he be thinking sometimes. Like, I, I don't know. Hollywood, man. Yeah, true, true. Hollywood. Hollywood, man. Stay out of that shit. Hollywood, yeah. So uh, we'll take another commercial break real quick, and we shall return. What up, what up, what up? Peace. Urban X Nation, if you are not already a member, now is the time to become a member to our exclusive membership at urbanx.nyc, where you're going to get a bunch of exclusive footage by the number one father and son team on the planet. Let me tell you what we're going to get. So first, every morning, Monday through Friday, you get a morning message from me, inspirational, keep everybody hitting their goals. What else we got? We got the after show, where it's unadulterated, unscripted, uncensored information, and you also hear from Mama Dot. We also have the real mentality coming, and that is a show specifically to get the male point of view, to get a real man point of view, all male cast, and we have some special guests coming as well. And the Black Dot will be teaching master classes. That's right, master classes on the subject of hip hop and all other things connected to urban decoded. And a bunch of hours, many, many hours of extra content we have that we just put up on the membership just exclusively for you. So we need you to click the link below. Where's it? Right there below. Click that link below, join, and let's get rocking. Peace. What makes a great t-shirt? Is it fashion, fit, comfort? Is it what's printed on the front of the shirt? Whether it's a humorous message, political, or a social statement made to bring awareness to a noble cause? At Urban X TV, we believe that all of those things make a great t-shirt and then some. So we wanted to create a t-shirt line that was a little bolder a little bit more challenging, one that stepped out of the boundaries. So we decided to introduce to you our not so subtleties. It's one that speaks to the sentiments of what's going on in our environment today. It's one that will spark conversation. So log on to urbanx.nyc to pick up your not so subtleties today or shop urbanx.com to pick up the latest in urban apparel. We thank you for your support. Peace. Back. We're back. We missed you guys. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank you for being here. Let's get those likes up. On this Thursday. Damn, we only got 600 likes. On this Thursday. Thank you, Jane. Jason. Jason, we appreciate you. Thank you. We appreciate that, man, for sure. So, I... Uh, Again, um, wait, that was, those are our commercials, so shopurbanx.com. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. <laughs> uh, so now, and again, if you want uh, text messages to kind of stay updated on what we're doing, text 917-810-3077, text UrbanX, and, you know, stay up to date. You'll get a text message when we go live. And we're going to make some special announcements. We got some special we're announcements. We're going to be rolling coming. prices back on a few things. Oh, facts, 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 facts. We got some things coming for you guys. We got some things coming for you guys, yes. You know what I mean? Because we, we love the Urban X Nation. Yeah, our members, matter of fact, they got a sneak peek into what, you know, we got coming. We spoke yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, we spoke that on, on the last show. There'll be no after show tonight, though. No after show tonight, guys. Because I got the shits. <laughs> I'm just going to keep it a bean with We're you. We're going to let him go home. Let me go <laughs> home because I got the shits, bro. Yo, the other night, guys, this is how bad it is in the Bronx right now. Other night, guys, I went home after the after show. I was circled around my block for... 45 minutes looking for a parking spot. That's ridiculous. Could not find a spot. It was so bad that there's a uh, there's a um a gas station like a couple blocks away from me. They were using that as a makeshift parking lot. That's ridiculous. That's how bad it was. That's ridiculous. You need to move. Yeah. yeah. Moving to Florida. Absolutely. Moving to Florida. But yeah, I had to double park my car. And then sleep with like one eye open. Carol, sure I said that's too much information. <laughs> 
True story. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 45 minutes. It was, it was ugly. It was ugly. Yo, but I keep telling you, find somebody in an area that's got a parking lot. Yo, everybody, uh, they got... Every, somebody got a, there's private houses over there. Pay them and bro. just pull your car in. Bro. You got to get creative. It's bad. It's bad. Got to yeah. get creative. It's bad, man. Got to get creative. You are tuned into the sounds of Urban X. So, guys, start getting your questions ready. Yo, I saw the Dave Chappelle uh, special. Which one? He got a new one out. No, he don't. Well, he's hosting. Is that right? got Yeah, Earthquake. Oh, it's out. It's oh. out. Earthquake is funny. Oh, I got to see. I got to check it. Oh, second. yeah. Earthquake is funny. He old school funny. Okay. Yeah. So, Dave Chappelle is just introducing. Yeah. Because uh, I think he's doing a four-part series. Oh. And the first one is out. Did they say who, you know who the other ones are going to be? I don't know who the other oh. ones are going to be. I like Earthquake. He's funny. Yeah, yeah. He's funny as shit. Got to check him. So, um, in Iowa, they ban biological males from participating in women's sports. I like it. Let's dial this thing back a little bit. Yeah, you know what's crazy? It's, it's, it's weird. It's, it's, it, it feels like it got to a point where it, it, it was only down from there. Like, sometimes it gets to a point where it's like, all right, y'all, like, come on, come on. Man. You can only go down from here, bro. Come on, y'all. Like, y'all are bugging. Because, I mean... It, all of the transgenders should perform together. Yeah. If that's... Like, create your own transgender yeah. league or something. Mm -hmm. but, but my daughter should not have to be worrying about some dude who's fucking caught in his feelings and going to beat her in the head and shit. You know, to make his ego feel good that he's accomplished something. Yeah. You know, that, 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 that sucks. And, and, and uh, uh, CK, CKC Entertainment, thank you. Your company is the truth. You did what you did with... Our order won't mention, and we appreciate it so much. All right, see, that's, that's called customer, customer service. service, yes. Service. Yes, yes. Because I'm going to tell you now, if somebody beating on my grandson, yeah, man. I'm going to get out there and beat your damn grand, your, your, your trans grandbaby. <laughs> beat the shit out your trans grandbaby. All bets is off. So let's not do that. Start just getting it back to where, yeah. so that it's, it's an even playing field. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Even playing field. Because I'm going to tell you, one dude is just going to have the, the balls to go to the WNBA. Oh, man. And he's going to be getting 70 a game. Like, ah! Ah! Boom! Ain't going to be in the locker room swinging. Ladies, we got to work hard on the next game. Do Come on. Come on, son. Yeah. Come on, son. Come on. That's crazy. Yeah, but yeah so shout out to um, Iowa. The governor just signed that bill. And it said this is a victory for girls' sports in Iowa. Um, no amount of talent, training, or effort can make up for the natural uh, physical advantages males have over females. And that, that's just how fact. can you argue with that? It's just fact of the matter. That's it. Girls should be competing against girls. It's, that's why we created, you know what I mean? Yes. And yes. even that, some people say that's kind of sexist. No, you want to be a, com a competitive field. Because you know what's crazy? Because I remember um, even Serena Williams said that if she was to go against like a 50th ranked dude, she'd probably lose. Just yeah, yeah. about how strong a guy is. It, it, like, absolutely. Absolutely. She said that. Like, that's not people like speculating, even though she's probably like, one of the most accomplished. And, and got a fastball. Yeah. Them chicks who play that softball shit. Bro. Bro. Yeah. The way they be flipping that damn softball. Yeah. Bro. So, yeah, you know, I agree. I agree. Let's just dial this thing back. And that's not a sexist or a homophobic statement. Transphobic. Just, yeah, transphobic. Just dial it back. Create your own league, your own division. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the LBG. You know what I mean? And, and make it happen. Yeah, because they're breaking records. It's, it's, I feel bad. Yeah, records that have been standing for years. Yeah. You just come through because I'm telling you, I, I can get even in the shape I'm in. I can get thirty a game. I don't think so. You get dude, smoked, dude. I can get thirty a game against these chicks. Did you hear about what happened with the um the New York Liberty? Were we talking about them? I heard they were flying charter. Yeah, like the second half of last season, and uh, they were getting an unfair advantage against the other chicks who were flying coach. So the owner of the Liberty was saying, "Let's go to our games, but let's fly charter the way the men do." The men fly charter flights. Yes. They don't have, yes. they're not sharing a flight with, 
regular people and stuff like that. So it's a chartered flight. And so they started, and they, they was getting ready to eliminate them <laughs> the from, the team. Team. <laughs> from the team. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know, but. That is um, crazy. Now with the uh, Jason uh, Winhorn Ham. Have you seen the new series Severance? No, I want to see that. I want to see that. It looks good. Mm -mm. I've never seen it. I'll check it out. So, um, yeah. That's crazy. They're about to just d dismantle the entire franchise. But remember, um, th there was $75 million raised. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, Swin Cash and yeah. a few other people helped raise. So maybe that becomes the norm. Mm -hmm. See, when people think about the, the WNBA is being treated differently, remember the NBA been around 110 years or whatever the case, uh, 75, yeah, 75 or whatever the case may be. So... Within that time, because they used to all fly coach. Mm -hmm. Barkley said, we all flew commercial. Mm -hmm. We on a plane with regular mm -hmm. people. And then we were able to elevate up. So as the WNBA begins to grow, you'll start seeing them getting chartered flights, getting the salaries that they deserve because they fill in, in the seats. And so, yeah, it, it'll happen for them. But I'm like, Damn. You ready to get rid of them because they owner is trying to look out for them, but that is an unfair advantage. Is it? Because you're now a little bit more rested. Yeah, yeah, ah. coming through, sipping martinis and shit. What's on up, y'all? What up, y'all? We ready to ball? Yeah. Oh, y'all just came off commercial. <laughs> you just got your luggage. We just got. Or, your, or they lost your luggage. Oh, they lost your luggage. <laughs> oh, y'all can't play today. You know. Yeah. yeah. So I get it. Y'all seen the Shannon Sharp and Dame Dash interview? No, I have not. Shannon Sharp, Dame Dash. I saw bits and pieces of it. Uh, uh, Dame is in a quiet taste. Listen, I don't... Uh, and, and, and Shannon was trying his best. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if people perturb Dame to the point where he answering some questions. He'd be like, why am I answering these questions? And it becomes an issue. Uh, I thought David Shans did a very good job. That was his best interview. That was his best interview. That was his best interview. Like, you know I, what I, mean? I was like, wow, like Dame is like talking. Right. He's like... He doesn't seem like annoyed. But annoyed, every right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, Dame seems annoyed in every interview. Every interview, he just seems like you. You bother him, like you got me yes. in bed for this. Exactly. Exactly. You know what I mean, and I've I, I've always wanted to interview some like real, you know, celebrities and stuff like that. I was like, I don't know if I want to interview him, nah. but I wouldn't. I wouldn't ask a Rockefeller question because it's like yeah, I'm definitely not asking that shit. Yeah, how many times have you heard it? But, Kevin Ramsey. It's on Netflix. You'll see Earthquake. It's about 40 minutes special. And uh, yeah, it's real dope. Today is the 33rd anniversary of the De La Soul's first album. Oh. That Three Feet High and Rising. Oh. Do you know that the NFL dropped all its COVID protocol? So it's back to normal. Back to normal. Wow. What, what, what COVID? Yeah, yeah. How long ago was that? Yeah, I was like, shh. A couple of years back, yeah, right, Damn, man, crazy, crazy, crazy. And um, the M MLB is going through a lockout right now. Yeah, they're going through a lockout uh, over some money. They don't want to play the um, minor league players. Oh, that's what's going on. Yeah, yeah, minor league players they get treated like little shit. Now. Yeah, yeah. So they're trying. Even when Jordan played, they had the bottom of bus. Wow. You know, at least a coach bus. Yeah. They were flying on like a. I mean, they were riding around on like a school bus. <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, uh, oh, Steve said, did a couple of Dame interviews. It depends on who's asking the questions. He was great. Okay. 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 Again, they, you, it's all depending on who's asking the questions. Okay. Because I'm nervous as shit. <laughs> like, uh, great day, isn't it, Dame? Uh, so, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Okay. That's what it is. Somebody said, Cavalier said, MLB can stay locked out for the season. You know how, you know what's so crazy that nobody's talking about the MLB lockout because it's like, who gives a shit? Yeah. <laughs> like, no. Baseball is ridiculous. It's too, yeah. Unless you're at the game yeah. and you're watching, you got a big ass, a Frankfurter like this, yeah. with fucking funnel cakes and ice cream, yeah. and now you're getting into the suspense of the moment, and then, the, you know, you do the wave, and yeah. other than that, it just take too long, man. So now they're trying to implement a, a, a shot clock. They should. A pitch clock. Yeah. It's, you got six seconds, nigga. Yeah. Throw the ball. <laughs> Instead of this shit. Yes. Yeah, it's ridiculous. And then, you, you know, look over at first base. Yeah. <laughs> then this nigga got to step out the box, <laughs> kick the dust off his shoes, Fix his gloves, 
<laughs> look down at the third base coach, just get the sign. It's too much shit, man. Too much shit. Man. Yeah. I'm going to get nobody to play baseball. He's going to play T-ball first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, put the ball on the tee and hit it off. And soccer. I don't know if I want to play football. It's, it's nah, really, nah. He, he, he can stay away from that. It's yeah. kind of rough. It's kind of rough. That is rough. You know, I love football, but you know. And basketball. Y'all could coach him. You and Marcus could coach him. Oh, yeah. We will coach him. I wasn't doing one. But I, I already see it. You know what I'm saying? He'd be number one in the newspaper. would be like the noble one. The noble one. I, I see it already. I see it. I see it. I see it already. I see it. I'm going to be that annoying dad, you know, at the games with the with the, with the the sunflower seeds. I'm, Please I'm, yeah, don't no, be them no, annoying I'm be that. parents, I'm going to be that. Oh. I'm going to be that with the Nike hat. I hate them fucking the vest annoying on, parents, <laughs> The bubble vest on with the Nike hoodie. I'm going to be that. with the fucking refs and shit. Yeah. And, Jeez. Coach, what's up? I'm going to be that. I'm going to be that. Yeah, I'll be there with you. I ain't going to lie. Exactly. Somebody asked another good question. Oh, oh so this, um, DeSantis, again, he had an event at, I think, was that a college or something? And, he, you know, students behind him had on a mask. And so he said, yo, take it take off. Take all that shit off. Yeah, I saw that. Yo, take it off. And then yeah, people yeah. are mad at him. For doing yeah. that, but he was like, Yo, I'm tired of the theater. Like, you know yeah, what let's man? get rid of this theater and shit. Yeah. And we were we were duped, all of us. We were duped. And uh now the shit is gone. Yeah. Yeah. A pandemic. Shit was supposed to be like life changing. Yeah. Done. Somebody said, Yeah, I need to have one guest. We will soon. We will, we, you know, we'll start doing uh some different things really soon, guys. Yeah, I gotta find out who our audience is though. Like, cause I don't want to keep bringing on the same people and shit. Right. It makes no damn sense. I agree. I agree. You know. Um, Malcolm, tell that he got to say a big pause for that hot dog. You're right. That was pause. Pause. You, you, you're trying to get the big Lizzy. You. That was pause. 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 <laughs> you're right. And, and, the, and you know, it's crazy. I, like I thought it, and but then like, you know. Here's the thing. Listen, we don't eat beef at all in my family. We used to eat the turkey franks and all that kind of mm-hmm. shit. And then one day I took Eli to a game. <laughs> to one of my games. Yeah, one of your games. Yeah. And um, that's all they had was beef hot dogs. Yeah. I said, like, I didn't get him a hot dog. He looked at me when he bit that shit. <laughs> he said, what the f- This shit is delicious. <laughs> this is what so much deliciousness. This nigga like was like, yo, yeah. this is what a real frank tastes like. Yeah. I'm like, yo, so I've been having to. Uh, you know, hide that from me for all these years. Because turkey franks are terrible. Uh, I mean, well, I don't, you know. They do those terrible. Yeah. Somebody said, nah, y'all stay procrastinating. Listen, we do a lot over here, man. Yeah, yeah. We do. It's three of us. Really two. Two and a half, two yeah. Two and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, facts. Because my hemoglobin start acting up and shit, and I got to go take a rest. Somebody said, um, bring Doggy Diamonds for a redo. We do need to do that, though. That is true. For a redo. Okay. We'll work on that. Somebody said, wait, T.I. cussed out uh, Garfrey on his own podcast? I didn't know that even happened. You, you know what? I, I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> I haven't been... Uh, I'm, when I first started like really getting into the YouTube beefs and stuff, like I used to really like get into it. And now I just feel like, like come on. It's, yeah, I, I don't know. We could be more that. productive with something. You know what I mean? That's just me. Uh, Steve asks, y'all hear that new Alchemist and Kooji rap? No, I did not. I didn't even know they linked. No, I didn't know. That's dope. Somebody said, I saw another question. Thank you, Simone. Ashley, that, that got dialysis and a whole nother other podcast with his other son. Show some respect. I'm the only one working two podcasts You're right here. Show right. some respect. Uh, Jay Nightman said, Malcolm, if you knew your death date, how would that change you? Oh, man. That's a good one. I, um, from my standpoint, when I found out you know, I was going to have kidney failure, that became my death date. Mm-hmm. And what I mean by that is everything that I used to procrastinate with, yeah. I just stopped procrastinating. Yeah. And 18 years later, I'm still here doing it. But I stopped procrastinating. I stopped saying I can't do this. I, I wrote the first mm-hmm. book. I wrote the second book. I started traveling. You know, so uh, you almost know your death date. Don't wait until they tell you you got six months to live because you got cancer. And then you're trying to cram all that shit in six months. 
That's the object of what I be trying to tell people. Get on your grind now. You only get one of these, right? There is no YOLO, you only live once. No, you only die once. You live every day, right? Get out here every single day and make the most of your life. Take chances. People don't take chances no more. People too complacent. Take chances. You want to start a business, start that shit. Yeah. You want to travel, travel. Make all that stuff happen so your life is fulfilled to the best of your ability. There's but actually, if you knew the exact definition. No, there's actually a movie that was uh, the same concept about that. It's, actually, it's called The Brand New Testament. An amazing movie. Mm. Like I went to see it at a film festival. Actually, amazing. Like it was white people in there crying. It was, it was an amazing movie. But long story short, like people got their death days like delivered to their phone. So some people, their death day was tomorrow. It's like how are you gonna live? Gotcha. Their death day is next week. Like how? What you gonna do? Like what who are you gonna do I change? Need, who do I need to make make peace with? I, I'm, not, I'm not happy with my husband. I'm gonna leave him now. You know what I'm saying? Like it's it was one of those. It was an amazing movie. So I actually, it's called the Brand New Testament. Go check it out. Brand New Testament. It's it's actually in German, by the way. So just it was one of those. I, I was really cultured that day. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Right. like I yeah, was nothing wrong with that at a film festival. You know, I was just, yeah. You gotta get cultural at yeah. a film festival. It's really good. Um, yeah. Seize the opportunity, Quan S. Exactly. Yeah. So when I'm up here, I'm having the most amazing time humanly possible. The reason I'm 12 years old with my kids and family is because every day is a beautiful day. You know what I mean? Yeah, I might try uh, something, a chicken sandwich or a fucking Twinkie and because you only get one of these, bro. Live it to its fullest. Love the people you're supposed to love. Mm -hmm. Respect the people you're supposed to respect and boom. Somebody said stay away from Ron Cockman. Are you talking about Long Island? I think that's where the film festival was, as a matter of fact. Might have been there. Mm. I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was bad. My, well, I guess I don't know. It's like, probably racist. Who knows? Is Trump coming back in twenty twenty four? He's looking like it. I think Hillary Clinton is trying to come back. Okay, if they do this again, no, literally, I'm fucking. I'm I'm, I'm done with it. Literally, if they remix this shit, and I see yeah. Hillary going against Trump again. I'm done. They I'm trying done. that again. Apparently, Trump. There is new evidence coming out that apparently he actually committed some illegal activity in regards to the January 6th stuff because they, they need to like remind you that January 6th happened mm -hmm. every few every few months for some reason and they're making it seem like it is literally the worst thing that's happened to the country ever. Like, yeah, it, like yeah. I could not, oh my God. So apparently that's uh, back in the news. Um, one of Trump's... Uh, daughter-in-law, I think his daughter-in-law got subpoenaed for something mm. to that effect. But I also read somewhere, I'm not sure how true this is, so it's alleged. Allegedly. That there was evidence regarding election fraud in 2020. Like, they were like a bunch of old folks' homes where people, too old to actually vote, they were getting like escorted to the thing, to the, wow. to the voting booth, and people were voting for them and stuff like uh, that. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. Somebody said Kanye 2024. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it, man. But come on, everybody else running. True. The, true. the Ukraine president was an actor. It's true. Trump is a goddamn fucking uh, reality TV star. This, this happened. Reagan was an actor. This yeah, sure. And his wife was freaking dick yeah. mm? Nasty, nasty. Nasty, nasty. <laughs> Nubian Smoke said, Malcolm, can you start a segment on the show talking about the missing black... Uh, girls, women, and girls in America. Uh, that might be something we'll do on the after show. Yeah, I, I, I'll get more information on it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. I don't want to, you know, get up here and talk and not know. Absolutely. Kamala Harris versus Candace Owens for president. Oh, guys, um, the Pfizer papers came out. Oh man, we need to talk about that. We need to talk about that. The Pfizer data came out. Now, now. Not sure how accurate, because some you know stuff floats around. And around but from what I saw, this is alleged. I saw that during the trials, I think out of forty-five thousand people who were tested, I think forty-two thousand had an adverse effect. Sheesh. That's right. An adverse effect ranged from like mild to severe, but adverse effect nonetheless. And apparently, like twelve hundred died. Died fatalities. Now. From my understanding, during these trials, if one person died, you kind of have to start all over again. You can't yeah, get yeah, yeah. They said twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. That's a lot of people, bro. Out of forty-five thousand. And 
It could be more than that. And from what I saw from the papers, from some a lot of information was redacted as well. Got you. And again, how they how are they able to do that? How are they able to redact certain things? I'm not sure. If you're gonna I, give I it up, give the shit up. Yeah, I don't know what the legal I don't know what that um what the terminology and stuff like that is. But again, if you was look on Twitter, like none Pfizer wasn't trending at all. Because remember, Twitter can actually control what right. trends and what right. doesn't. The war was trending. The war was trending, that was it. Right. right. But what perfect time to release that information. Mm-hmm. Everybody's looking this way, and you just, eh. yeah, you know, release that info. And they released it at the perfect time. Perfect, amazing. Because nobody's really talking about that. Ah, amazing. But that's the first domino to fall because the Moderna, actually, J and J, they all gonna have to. Uh, yeah, and actually, Moderna, release some papers. Apparently, they got accused of stealing technology from bio bio. I heard they had a patent on the COVID yeah, three yeah. years ago. No, it, it was it was a piece of technology from the vaccine that they stole from another company mm. that they're being accused of as well. So it's a lot coming out about these pharmaceutical companies. But the fly thing about them is you can't sue them. Can't sue them. Yeah. Crazy. All right. It's time to get out of here. Uh, any more questions? Real quick, real quick. Any more questions? Okay, I'll take a few more. Any more questions before we get up out of here? We appreciate you guys. All day. Um, they said the live said it was forty five minutes. <clears throat> uh, this was a two year trial. Okay, it says Russia might use cryptocurrency. That'd be crazy. They lied and said it was forty five million. Oh, okay. That'd be crazy if Russia, because yeah, like they have no other choice. They can redact because of HIPAA. Thank you. Appreciate okay. that. Thank you, Leslie. Appreciate that. Um, Yo, where's Fauci, bro? Right? It's like he no longer even exists. Right? Yeah. He was like the most important person. They made a Disney movie of that guy. Yeah. He was the most important person on the face of the planet. And he's just gone. Yeah. Wow. Dot, check out what Kamala Harris is doing in writing a new bill. Dot, you still thinking about making another rap album? I would love to make another album. Uh, I'm 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 doing a song with somebody. Uh, they sent me the track already, so I'm gonna get in there. Somebody said I have a membership and I don't know when it will expire. Uh, will I have a notice to renew? Uh, I'm not sure. Email me and um, if you we'll check a, it out. Yeah, if, if you have a yearly membership, you probably you're not. The year comes up in April, so if you got it right then, so you should be straight. But email me info at urbanx.nyc. Oh, so Fauci was on the 85 South show recently? What? Really? No, he wasn't. That's what they said. No. Hey, I might check that out. That's cap. No, no. I might check it out. Somebody said they replaced Fauci with the president of Ukraine. Exactly. You know what's crazy? I saw a new segment, and I think it was in France. It was a French, and so it was subtitles. But they were asking the woman, it was a woman, I think she was in Ukraine, she was from Ukraine. They were asking her how she felt about the president, and she kind of just went off on him. She was like, Yo, he's a shell of a president. He came in after it because the only reason he was in was after a coup that happened in mm. Ukraine that U.S. kind of was behind. So she was like, he's a shell of a president that does everything like that, you know, uh, the other European countries like want him to do. And she was kind of completely against him. And I think, and somebody was just like, oh, how they let her on TV? Yeah. Because yeah. she kind of just went completely against, against what, the, grain, the, what yeah. the narrative was, which is this guy's a hero. This guy is, you know, the type of leader we want and stuff like that. So crazy stuff. Yeah, that's crazy. Somebody said, Fauci needs to be doing 85 to life. That's exactly. But um, Malcolm, what is the biggest conspiracy theory you would like, you would like to solve? Oh, that's a good one. Biggest conspiracy? Probably aliens. Yeah, I think it's time to... Yeah, or, or Flat Earth. That's probably one of the two. One yeah. of the two. They might be connected. Might be connected. That'd be crazy. That when you travel in Africa, never. <laughs> uh, Say again? Oh, don't you get... When you order, you receive an um, email confirmation with your tracking information, and you can just track it. That's how you track your order. And guys, with that being said, we love you. We love y'all. 
You know what I'm saying? Thank you guys for joining us for yet another show. It's 265 shows. Goddamn. Goddamn. Right? We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, Jabari, hell no to your question. <laughs> I appreciate y'all. Um, no after show tonight. We will see you guys on Monday. We promise. Bright and early. And yeah, peace. Peace.